EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's Lyon. Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. And it looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow-through. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Well, very impressive and on the move right now. Frank, another great example of Lynx golf. It's not a particularly long hole, but there is trouble if you hit it offline. Yeah, there's a bunker down there at about 280 yards that has to be avoided. Only the long hitters or perhaps the wind behind your back is the reason to take that bunker on. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Second shot, good look at the green. This is a good looking shot. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. That drops for another birdie. Two in a row to start the round. Now at the third hole here at Royal Troon and Frank, another sort of short par for just 379 yards. Yeah, Simplicity is the key here, Rich. You don't really want to hit the ball more than 280 yards. Reason why is there's a burn there. And then from there, it's still only a wedge into a green that has two tiers. That's a good start to the hole, right down the middle. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Frank, there's a real art to putting a good score on the board, isn't there? Yeah, that's why stroke play is so tough, Rich. Uh, you know, you're trying to minimize everything on a golf course. Turn a six into a five or a four into a three. It's like even off the edge of a green, trying to get up and down in two rather than three. And you've got to do it for 18 straight holes, straight, straight holes. If it's a 72-hole tournament, then you've got to do it for four straight days. And that's why that's always been the best predictor of, of, of our best players the ones that can go four days and make the least number of mistakes. There's always advantage of hitting it further than most, Rich, and straighter than most. When you put the two together, it's just straight up a head start. And he steps up to take this shot from the fairway. This is how the game is supposed to be played. This has been just outstanding. Beautiful to watch. Ooh, nice play right there. That's in pretty close. Shouldn't be a problem here. Nice, solid start to the round. Tita Green looks to be in command. Yeah, it's surprising. I thought he might have been a little shaky out of the gate, but uh, certainly proved me wrong. So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from Tita Green. It's not easy to come out of the gates like that. EA Sports 
and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. I'm loving that balance. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on the easy birdie. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. A good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating. Second hole, just 391 yards, but a classic case on Lynx Golf where the bunkering here is just so much different than a classic American layout. And it's also where a change of strategy will certainly help. Remember, the ball's going to run much further here in Scotland than what it will in America. So you can use a shorter club and let that ball to run out to the normal distance you would hit it, perhaps with two or three clubs more. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. So coming off the birdie on the previous hole, a chance now for yet another one. And momentum all in his favor. And with that birdie, tied at the top. Back to the tee box here on hole number three, and there are a few club selection decisions that come into play on this first shot, Frank. There is. The reason why there's a burn that cuts through from the 16th hole all the way across the golf course through the middle of the third, and that stops, or should I say starts, at about 285 yards. That really has to be at the forefront of your mind. And now it's right in his wheelhouse, good position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Bang for another birdie. Eight under par for the tournament. Rich Lerner back at historic Royal Troon with Frank Navala, who's played the Open Championship on two occasions here at a golf course that goes back to the late 1800s. This is the first par five, Frank, on the golf course, and you would think a chance to make a birdie and, and get that round started. It certainly is. Uh, dog leg right, two bunkers on the left. If you hit the ball a little bit straight, you'll certainly get into those pot bunkers. The one on the right, most people can carry. You carry that, this par five, more than reachable. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Rub the shamrock. Got away with getting in the bunker there. Good scoring opportunity. Third shot here at the par five. Let me try up next. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Really starting to shine, moves to 10 under for the tournament. So all the scores have been posted for round number two, and look who is on top of the leaderboard, Frank. Yeah, with two very solid rounds of golf, uh, key right now, just stay out of your own way and keep it up. Uh, the pressure will start to build. We know that as you get closer to the end of this tournament.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the International Challenge. Nice drive, right in the fairway, and a good swing on that one. Good lie in the fairway, a good chance to make something happen here. Well, this is going to be an interesting day. The wind is howling, or as they would say in Scotland, just a wee breeze. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Now his third, staring right at the green. And they're close, about eight feet from the cup. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Oh, yeah, he's made it for a birdie. Frank, we're moving inland now. And what are we facing here at this par four seventh hole? Just a dog leg to the right. Uh, ideally, just a little cut off the tee. Beautiful looking shot right here. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That would be a great look at birdie. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Back to the action here as we get ready to tee off at the par 3 eighth. Yeah, five bunkers surround this green that's perched up. The two really to avoid, they're on the right side. They're incredibly deep pot bunkers. Frank is knocking them down and picking them up. Oh, it's just taking pins out one after the other. 12 feet still to go. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. Did the job right there. Frank, how does the front nine finish up with this par four? Well, the par four ninth is called the Monk. It's not overly long, 423 yards, dog leg to the right. Just one bunker down the left to be avoided. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, I'm thinking back to 1989 in the Open Championship. That was sort of our first chance to see the new playoff format at the Open. That's right, Rich. In 1985, they decided to have a four-hole playoff, um, and that had been changed, too. In 1964, they went from a 36-hole playoff to an 18-hole playoff, and the reason why? My fellow country countryman, Bob Charles, won in a 36-hole playoff in 1963. They realized 36 was too, too much. I think four holes right now is just perfect. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Always two components to the long lag putt. The speed, number one, and then the read. And missed out on that second part. Well, Frank, he'll drop at least one shot here. That was uh, not his best effort. No, uh, poor is the easiest way to put that. He knows it. In this situation, Richard Bogey's not all that bad. Still has the lead. There you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller.
EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, through the years, there have been some great winners at the Open Championship played at Royal Troon. Well, just in recent uh, history, remember Mark Kalkovec here in the playoff with Wayne Grady and Greg Norman. Um, there was also Todd Hamilton when he beat Ernie Els in the four-hole playoff. And back in 1996, Justin Leonard was to win his Open Championship. Tom Watson also won an Open Championship here. Tom Weisskopf, his only major, that was 1973. The great Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, they all won at Royal Troon. So from the rough back to the fairway, that's the right way to go. Yeah, didn't take the bait, and at least now he's only going to play the price of a poor tee shot. Still got a good chance, though, getting away with par. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Try to scramble here. He's giving himself a chance for par. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. In for par. Frank, here's the only par five on the back nine at Royal Troon. You'd think at 542 yards it would be reachable, but the burn that cuts across really limits the tee shot to about 280 yards. So it's very much about placing that second shot in a good distance for your third. In the 1997 Open Championship here at Royal Troon, you played with Tiger Woods in the third round. What did he do at this 16th hole? He hit a driver for a second shot into a head breeze from about 270 yards, managed to get it on the green, then knocked it in from about 45 feet for eagle you knew he was something special back then didn't you uh yeah he was the only one that even tried that shot Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. for an easy birdie. So a tester. Pretty much doing everything right this week. 11 under for the tournament. Final par three here at Royal Troon. It's the 17th. And what kind of a hole is it, Frank? Well, this takes your best long iron shot. Normally plays back into the prevailing breeze. You miss the screen on the left, it will run all the way down the hill. The bunkers might look short, but if your tee shot isn't hit properly, it'll puff up in that breeze and certainly find a pot bunker. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Almost. Wow. Clean this up with a tap. Continuing to putt with confidence. Frank, now the final hole here at Royal Troon. And when you think about the legends who have made the walk toward the clubhouse and the claret jug, it really does give you a sense of where you're at. How about Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke, Tom Watson, Tom Weisskopf? They've all made the walk on this final hole to the Claret Jug. And they've all hit great tee shots, and that's really what you need here. There's a bunker for just about every distance you hit the ball. So there's three down the left. There's no other way around it but avoiding them. And there's one down the right if you try and play it too safe.
Mitchell missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, obviously here at 18, you do not want to be long. Yeah, err on the side of caution here. Um, you're exactly right. You'd rather be 30 feet short of this flag than uh, 30 feet over the back of this green, because it might just be out of bounds. That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. So a tough way to close the round, missing a short putt and a bogey here at 18 to win the International Challenge. In for a bogey. Just a fantastic week of golf. Add that one to the win count. A lot of uh, great quality players out there, and to come on top of that leaderboard is truly a great accomplishment.